So in this lesson, we're going to create a new distribution group. And in this case, it will be a group that doesn't previously exist in Active Directory. So to start with, we're in the Recipient Configuration Work Center, and we click New Distribution Group. And here the new distribution group wizard comes up. Now we could choose existing group if we had a group that already was in place to be a distribution group. In this case we'll choose new group and click next. And here we can determine if the group type is just distribution or if we want it to be a security group as well. We'll leave it as distribution. We can choose the organizational unit we want to place the group in. And in this case we'll just call it DG1. We click next. We review the configuration summary and we click New. And we have the distribution group already created. Now of course we realize we did not put any users in that distribution group. If we open up the distribution group properties and we look at members, you notice we don't have any members of this distribution group. If we click Add, we can find the individuals that we wish to place into that group, say OK, and now they exist there. If we open up Active Directory Users and Computers, you notice that our distribution group is right here, and so when individuals want to send an email, that distribution group will be in the global address list. So we hope you found that informative, and we'll see you in the next lesson.